Okay, so let's start looking at some of the setting parameters uh, on the DC to DC here. Now, first off, there is actually a way of doing this if your vehicle ignition is off or you're not connected to your tow vehicle, for example. So I don't have any power here, but I do actually have output power. So uh, you can actually adjust the settings without the power on. Um, sometimes it is easier to doing it. So if you just press and hold the menu button there, you'll see the unit will start up. First off, it's gonna go through the voltages that it's seeing on each input, and we'll have a look at that later on in the operation section. It will then also go through just a, a blank startup screen there, and also show us the, um, the software settings as well that's on the unit. And then now if I press and hold this one here, it will allow us to actually go into the settings there. So what we can see here, default is actually set to AGM. So if I do wanna go into there, or you can scroll across there, through all the different functionality. So again, flashing is what we're gonna be looking at. Press the set button is like your enter button. So I'm now in using this for an AGM battery, for example, H40. What does the H40 value mean there? What that is, is the maximum this unit will output. So you saw it was default there to 40. Now you can change it, as I said, down to five amps, for example, there, down to 10, 15, up we go to 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So let's just put it back to the default there. Now, why do you want to change those settings? Um, as a rule there, the reason why you want to change those is according to the size of your battery. And we'll touch on that later on. Now just press enter there, leave it at that. L value, what's the L value? The L value there is, I'm just going to scroll this through so it doesn't time out. L value is actually what is the setting there, for example, um, that tells the battery or tells the charger that it's full. So it's looking for a value that of six amps lower than, well, lower than six amps, the battery is actually full. Uh, now, if you've got a fridge, for example, you wanna have the unit high enough setting that even if the fridge is running, um, just that by itself, the unit will say that the battery is full. Um, if you've got two fridges, for example, that are getting used pretty heavily, you'd wanna set this to the maximum. So on this particular setting here, we can see it's eight for an AGM. Um, now press the set button there, locks that in. Three stage one there is going through your um, bulk, your absorption, and then your floats charging curve. Temperature compensation, as I said, with an AGM battery. Um, again, look at your specifications for your battery. Um, and in the manual there, we'll actually say what the um, temperature offsets are based on the different levels there. So that was an AGM, but what about if we go through either flooded um, or most commonly to a lithium nowadays? If I press that on there, we'll see we have the bulk voltage setting here. So if I go into there, default it's actually at 14.2. Quite often we find it's actually best um, to go through that one. And I actually just skipped past there then. So let's just take a look back in there again. Just go through again if you happen to do the same as I did. Um, and we can see there, default it's 14.2. Quite often we actually recommend setting this up to 14.4 there. That way ensures um, any battery monitors, um, even the inbuilt battery monitor, actually locks that um, and sees that that is a full voltage and says the battery is 100% state of charge. Float voltage there, 13.5 um, there. Again, this is just looking at our batteries. Um, you'll see the actual recommendations are on the side there. We can leave that at default of 13.5. Next one, like I spoke about, is that high. So the maximum this unit will output. So normally with a, uh, any battery, we recommend around about that 30% off your capacity of your battery is what you should set the H value to. Now, because we've got a 200 amp here, I'm gonna set it actually at the maximum 50 amps. So that's a, a great setting there. With that L value again, it's got its defaults based on what you set that H to um, as well. So I'm gonna say we've got a couple of fridges and quite a bit of other gear installed. So I'm gonna actually leave that at 10 amps. So anywhere below 10 amps, and if the voltage is right, it is gonna say the battery is full. Um, so that's pretty much the key settings there. Um, there are other ones there that you can go through as well. Like, uh, and the key thing here is, it's got defaults in there. However, if you're using another brand lithium, another brand AGM, lead acid, lead crystal, any different chemistry battery. If you want the longest lifespan out of your batteries that you're using, recommend um, checking the manufacturer's specifications for your charge voltage, for your float voltage, and also for your recommended charge current as well. Most batteries will have the specifications either on the battery um, or within the manual uh, on the website as well. And uh, what we might do now is actually 
go outside and take a look at some more of the different settings and also the operation of the unit in a real world situation.